Alright, welcome back. I am Sidmuth as usual, and this is episode 13 of my Lotro Lore Master Let's Play. Now, uh, we are in Bree, but uh, first a little bit of Lotro news before I start my Bree land questing. Um, Helm's Deep beta, or not beta, um, Helm's Deep pre-orders have started. Um, usually pre-orders mean that if you pre-order you have a better chance of getting into beta. I'm not actually sure if that's true or not because I kind of just saw the pre-order notice and got super excited and went with it. So obviously, as you can see by these three little gift boxes I now have, I pre-ordered. So I've got this Warsteed cosmetic set, Armor of the Hammer Hand, and Shield of the Hammer Hand. So I'm going to show you guys these things. So this is the Warsteed uh, cosmetics. I obviously can't actually do anything with them yet, being level 16 and all, but they're there for the day that this character eventually gets level 75 and armor of the hammer hand which is what is really exciting for me because it's cosmetics so let's take a peek so this is the helmet i'm not fond of the helmet to be honest um like looking at it these side burn type things are a little weird but i do i do like it in general otherwise if those weren't on it it just i don't know it's just it's not for me uh this is the hauberk oh hold on i will disable my shoulders so you can see them a bit better. So, like I was saying, this is the hauberk. I really like it. I think it's got some nice detailing. It's appropriately worn looking. Uh, and I like all the little horse details. A lot of people are complaining that you can't diet it, and yeah, it, is, it would be nice to dye it. But I like the color as it is, because I'm fond of the earthier tones in general with my characters. I'm not fond of the yellows and the purples. So that's the hauberk. And these are the boots. This is important to note because they don't seem to stick out from robes, which is nice. Um, they've got a couple of boot, like s boots, straps, and a bit of armoring and some claspiness going on. They're okay. They're not the best boots or anything. Uh, the gauntlets. I like these gauntlets. They look pretty cool. I like the horse head looking down the arm. Looks pretty cool. I like them. And the shoulders. I'm not... Like, it's cool. Like, the horse heads are kind of cool. But, again, I'm not super fond of them. Not super fond of them. On, on Sithrith, my main character, who is from Rohan, and who's backstory matches and like fits with the whole helm hammer hand thing. Um, she just wears the hauberk and the gloves and the other pieces are from other sets. Finally, the really cool thing is this back item. It's a shield. It's like a backpack with a shield strapped to it. And the really cool thing about this is that the stats scale to your level. So these stats you see here, the 5 armor, 1 vitality, 2 will, 13 tactical, blah blah blah. That all scales to what level you are, so it's different on my level 81 hunter than it is on this level 16 lore master. So I'm going to equip it because it's pretty cool. Um, I mean, yeah, the armor is not a lot. 5 armor is kind of crappy, but the fact that the, uh, the level like the stats scale to your level is kind of mind blowing to me and I think it's really cool. Also, I really love the cosmetic of it. I'm not going to wear it on this character cosmetically because it doesn't make any sense. She's an elf. She doesn't care about those kinds of things. And by those kinds of things, I mean Rohan. But I care about those kinds of things on my other characters. So, that's the Helmsy pre-order. Oh, yeah, and there's a horse too. I should show you the horse. Horse, horse, horse. Steed of the- I really actually don't like this horse. I was really disappointed because I really liked the pictures, but god, it just looks like a robo-horse. Like, my kinmate and I especially were pointing out, like, look at the neck. The neck, it just looks totally ridiculous, I think. But, I mean, some people like it, so cool for them. I'm very happy for you that you like this horse. I'm a little disappointed by it. I think it's a very boring gray, and all the metal is gray. They've definitely made better looking horses. But, you know, what are you gonna do? I got my cosmetics, that's kind of all I care about. So anyway, questing and, and stuff like that. 
So I think first, let me look at the level of these quests and see. So the prologue is level 15. My two Lorical Master quests are both level 15 also. So I'm going to actually do the Lore Master quests, I think. I think I also have to have a mandatory stop at the Cat Lady's house. Um, Cat Lady's house isn't something that's ever really been explained, I don't think. It just kind of exists. And it's kind of just exactly what it sounds like. It's called the Cat Lady's house. See, the little text that shows up. And it's just a house full of cats. And my bear, now. So, some of them have names. Like this guy is Sylvester. He's a big guy. Wink, over here. I think they're for the chicken quests. Horatio. I don't know. I, l I love cats, so that's it's cool. It's almost a little disorienting going through the lesser traveled parts of Bree now that the revamp's gone up. Cause it's like, look, look at these ladies washing dogs. It's just, I don't know, I, like, I love it. It's so ridiculous. Like, I don't... That didn't used to be there. Right, so this is the Scholar's Stair Archive where the... Lore Master Trainer resides with his maps and his little library. So he gave me this quest in that letter. So I just completed that by coming here. What do you need? And so he's just telling me to go find Dorset Oaks. Okay. So let me train. Do I have anything to train? No. I think I trained everything. Um, oh, I should manage my need? traits. That's a good idea. All right. So traits. Let's talk about those. So, virtues you get by completing deeds, uh, just like regular deeds. So like in, let's see where we, Arid Luin. So, you know, Elf Ruins Exploration. If you find all these places, you get a Wisdom Virtue. If you find all these Dwarf places, you get Patience. If you explore all these places in Rathrae, you know, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Then there's, those are all like exploration type quests. There are also quest completion, I think I completed all those. Yeah, so like hero ever complete how many quests? Thirty quests in Erdlu, and that's how I got those. Um, but then there's Slayer deeds also. So you know, pretty straightforward. Kill sixty brigands in Erdlu, and you get justice. Pretty straightforward. It's yeah. So Slayer deeds, discovery deeds, quest deeds. You get various virtues from different things. I am not going to worry about it too much. I'm just going to slot these because, you know, extra stats are nice. That's basically what virtues do. The cap right now on virtues is you can get up to 16 ranks in each virtue. Back in the day, it was 10 for a long, long, long time. Finally, they raised it to 12. And then, I think 14 and then 16. I don't know. I kind of like, like I've talked about before, I kind of, there was like a lost year. Um, I don't have any class deeds done yet, so that's kind of blank, but I will slot Sylvan Shadows. So, yeah. That's traits right now, but they may change in the future. Because class revamps. Right, so next I get to talk to Dorset Oaks, who I think is outside of town, actually. Alright, so we came up out of the south end of Bree to the Yellow Tree which is a well-known tree in Bree. So Dorset, there she is. There, or er, he is, I suppose. I thought Dorset was a woman's name, but I guess not. So what does he have to tell me? So he's lost a book. Um, and I have to go find it, I guess. So where? Oh, it's an instance. Okay, right. I guess we'll go do that. So we have to go into this library and find this book. this library. Right, I should get my bear and get ready so I don't get owned as what happens usually. So and I should put a little thing on him, and by a little thing I mean a sign of the wild. Let's put sign of the wild rage. So, let's see. Seems pretty empty. So I just have to find the bookshelf, right? Like, can't be that difficult. Oh, here come some goblins. So I stunned that guy. 
this guy's gonna look good. Luckily, these guys are level 13, so I shouldn't have any problems, right? Right? Oh. I have acquired some stuff. Some catalog y stuff. What? What do I do with this stuff? So, okay. Do I have to read these things? Okay, hold on. In the middle of the reading, and now come some goblins. Thus are the trials of a lore master. Okay, so it seems like he's talking about the organization of this place. So these bookshelves over here, one, two, three, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, are section A, numbered one through seven, from left to right. So I'd be twelve on, and then I need page two. Oh god, these guys are like level seventeen. That's not as nice. They look a bit nastier too. So let's see, I have... I, I just have two copies of page one. Oh, and page three. I have page three. So I have to find... a bookshelf containing whatever book it is that he's looking for. Uh, what does page three say? Okay, so lesser known wilds are B1, B6, C10 through C12, dangers of the Southlands, B10, D1. Alright, so I'm looking for the bookshelf that contains on the hardiness of animals in the wilderness. Uh, okay. So maybe lesser known wilds? Or, hmm. I guess I'll have to wait for other pages. This is certainly trickier than any of the level 15. Wait, what do you mean too late? Battle hardened and goblin champions have arrived and you must retreat. What? Level 30? Forget this. What? This is nuts. What? How? What? This is- okay. So I didn't know I could fail that and that, like, all of those goblins would just start coming in. Level 30, jeez, what? Okay, let's try this again, I suppose. Right. So, let's try D4, E1, and E5. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G? Is that how it- Stupid page two. I wonder if it is easier to just start clicking on every single bookshelf rather than try and figure out the like actual way to do it. If so, that's stupid. Goblins interrupting me. So I will interrupt their lives. Aha, I found it. Right there. So that would be six, seven, eight, nine. B nine. Alright, forget this place. I'm getting out of here. So that was pretty ridiculous. But I got my first class trait and a new robe. And the title, Well Ordered Mind. That's pretty cool. Let me see. Is this robe better? Oh, yes, it is. Does it look cool? It's okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to Bree now and talk to Barlam and Butterbur. Alright, so here we are at the Prancing Pony where Barlam and Butterbur is the innkeep. All right, so they have not really revamped the inside of the pony to match the outside, I will say that. So this is still what it's always looked like. Here's Barlam and Butterbur. Got a whole bunch of quests. There is so much to do. And now we get to talk to Strider, aka Aracorn, aka future King Elisar. And I'm gonna take all his quests. Um, I think I'm gonna end the episode there for now, though, because that lore master quest took forever and it was ridiculous. So, okay, so that was episode 13. Finish the lore master quests, and I will see you next time.